Hi, so this is a response video to Neefsi's um, lion killer video. The whole shooting and hunting thing is something that's quite close to me. It's something that I've argued a lot with people over, and it's something that I have talked about at great length, probably to the annoyance of a lot of people. <laughs> if you want to watch the video, click on my hand, click on my hand and give me a high five to go and watch the video. Now, a year ago, I was in South Africa and I spent a lot of time at a conservation park where a lot of people would go to hunt animals. And so this whole thing of killing big game in Africa is something that I came to understand whilst out there. And I thought I'd share my viewpoint on this. So why do we shoot things? So for one, obviously the big thing, food. It's an easy way to kill things. If we kill things, we can then eat them. Another reason is conservation. People often say, but conservation is about keeping things alive. How can it be about killing things at the same time? Yes, but it's not about killing everything. Conservation essentially is when you corner off a part of the earth and you go, everything in here is protected by us. That means that people can't go in there and wipe everything out. It means that you can't build on that place. You can't change it from what it is naturally. And yet, at the same time, as soon as you enclose a space, you're then taking responsibility for what happens in that. When you enclose a space, the animals will keep living there. They breed and multiply. In the end, you'll have a lot more animals than can actually survive in that space. And eventually, you'll get to a point where there's no food left. Which then means that if you don't take some of them out of the food chain, all of them will die. In order to have the complexity of that natural area conserved, you need to kill things. <laughs> and so a lot of people pay to go and do the killing. It might be for sport reason, they might want like a trophy, or they may, might just want to say, I just wanted to kill something. People have an interest in shooting things. The only problem with this are the people's attitudes to the animals. This is something I talked a lot about with our guides in South Africa. And these guides would make sure that the people that they were guiding knew exactly what they were doing because they don't want to see these animals tortured or in a lot of pain. These are normal people, and but they understand conservation. They know what you have to do and they do it in the most kind of moral way that they can. You have this article which says that the Killing a lion is the most cowardly thing you can do. And I sort of have a problem with that. Because when you read the article, it talks a lot about this one guy who went to Botswana and was basically on a car looking at lions. And yeah, they do that. Most animals don't care about a car because you don't shoot from cars. And the main reason why they're so used to cars is because no harm comes from them. As soon as they put together that people are in cars and they're going to get shot, they won't be fine with cars anymore. It's not cowardly to do this thing, because you're not in a car. You are standing up. You're there. Sure, you've got a gun, and it's m the odds are much more in your favour than they are in the lions. But that doesn't mean that just because you can go in a car and drive next to some lions, that a lion won't pick up your scent and won't see you and won't see you as a threat. As soon as you have this whole thing of, oh, it's fine because I've been around lions and I wasn't and I didn't get attacked at all. In fact, it was sleeping. Ha 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 ha. Because it was a completely different situation. The people who go on these hunting trips know what they're doing when they by the time that they pull the trigger. There is a certain pride in killing an animal because you kind of say I took responsibility for this and so of course pride is a big factor it's just something that just happens what's worse surely is the idea that you hate the idea of killing animals and st still eat meat you're not taking responsibility for where your food comes from at the end of the day what's worse someone being proud about knowing that they killed an animal or someone that doesn't take enough of an interest to find out where their food is coming from and what happened to those animals before they were killed. So yeah, that was my really light-hearted comment on that video. Um, bye. <laughs>